Hi, Sagittarius. So in April for you, Sagittarius, you have a lot going on. You have probably a lot of projects or things that you've been working on. With this Eight of Wands, there's a sense of movement, of things moving quickly, and perhaps that you have to make decisions quickly. Often with the Eight of Wands, there's a sense of news coming in, messages, of clear communication. So whether that's through uh, regular mail, through FedEx, texts, or uh, email messages, you may be getting more knowledge or advice or offers coming to you. With the State of Wands, it suggests that um, you may be taking on new projects. These projects go up and then they come down and they hurdle and they complete. They're hurtling towards Earth and they complete. So this could also suggest that maybe some things are coming to a close and you're just thinking about what you're going to do next. When we see wands like this, we, we're looking toward our passions and our enthusiasms, the things that make us feel sparked, that make us feel pretty good. So a lot, this is a busy month for you, Sagittarius. Along with this eight of wands is the seven of cups. It's a card of imagining, of daydreaming of having many options. So you may be considering several things coming your way and it could be considering several offers coming your way or opportunities. And you might have to make a decision. And that could be a good thing because with the Seven of Cups, there's a sense here that sometimes we get stuck in our daydreams or we get stuck in our imagination. And it is hard to to pick one and to move on. If we don't pick one and if we're just continually daydreaming every day, you know, it's really not going to help us move forward to what you want to achieve or what you want to accomplish. So if you can find an option that really speaks to you and speaks to your passions, then uh, maybe narrow down your focus and try to, to make some plans for it, to make some movement for it. So then we have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is simply a beautiful, beautiful card. It's a card of meeting someone who really is in harmony with you and who is your equal. Equal in perhaps thinking and certainly in standing. This is a sense of a really lovely relationship, a relationship that is has depth, is truly connected, that is divine. It's like that you, it's the kind of relationship when you meet someone and you're finishing each other's sentences or, or you feel like you've known them your whole life. It's really a, an opportunity to bring in something very uh, emotionally significant into your life. So whether you are with someone or you're married now, this can go towards deepening the bond. If you are single and looking, it is a sense of keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open, keep your heart open, and put yourself in places where you can meet people so that this can happen. You know, we'll get to what the significance of this Two of Cups and the Magician here is, and perhaps judgment, but um, uh, make sure that you at least allow yourself the chance to have this connection, to have this very deep and loving connection. It's a love opportunity. And with this love opportunity, here comes the devil the bad boy, the malignant devil, and making fun of the lovers here below, having them chained. And what it is, is it's a sense of, this is the, uh, the actions, the behaviors of you that hold you back. 
that don't allow you to feel free, that don't allow you to be totally open, that there's something here that is not quite right, whether it is uh, having a, uh, a roving eye, maybe it is substance, too much of a substance that doesn't help you, maybe it's uh, just something that is uh, that that just keeps you from being your best self. It's a whole host of things that we could talk about, but really the devil comes down to how do you find ways to defeat defeat yourself? You allow the devil to be taking precedence. You allow the devil to invade your goodness. You allow the devil to to really obstruct you. And, you know, it's, it's, you have to know what your devil is. Everybody has to know what is the actions or the behaviors that each one of us has that, um, that really throws her monkey wrench in moving forward or finding happiness or finding a relationship. You know, you may have so many options here that uh, it's playtime and, and overdoing it perhaps, and this is going to have to be resolved or at least addressed before you can get this connected, equal, harmonious, and balanced relationship. So the good news is that we have these two strong court cards here to help guide you. And the Queen of Cups is the emotional, loving type of uh, queen who is there for you, who understands how you're feeling, who listens without judgment, who is kind and considerate, and loves you unconditionally. So this may be someone that you need to talk to about some of the, the devil that may be holding you back or some of the options that are perhaps overwhelming. The queen is going to be working in your favor and the, and the cups, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Then we have the king of wands. The king of wands is also this energy of, you know, do something. Get out there and make it happen. Take the steps to create what you want. Have those adventures. Have these experiences. They build your portfolio, if you will. And, you know, let yourself get out there and enjoy life. He is fair. He makes decisions. The shade side of this king is that he may get bored quickly if you don't get to the point quick you know get to the point in a clear manner he may be off on his next quest or his next opportunity or proposal so whether this is someone in your corner that can help you that you are going to meet someone experienced who is fair who is reasonable who can give you good counsel or good advice or present opportunities to you the king is a man to be reckoned with uh, because he has been able to master business and uh, pulling everything together, being resourceful. So with these court cards helping you, ultimately in life it's up to you to uh, use your self-knowledge to help yourself. And when we see the judgment card. This is such a great card. We see the angel blowing the fanfare. We see the, the people rising out of their coffins, greeting the angel. It's a call to you to say, what's happening with your life? What's going on? Time for you to reflect on your actions, what you're doing. So in April, you're going to be thinking about perhaps, how do I, how do I build a life? that really suits what I want to accomplish or that is right for me? How do I build relationships 
that are going to be outstanding and fulfilling and loving. Judgment ties us all together, which is the opportunity to look at your past actions and to kind of get a sense of where you are now. And you can't undo the past. You can't erase it with a whiteout pen. You have to start from this day present and move forward. So in April, you know, you have some things to think about, which is how do I how do I receive the messages that you're trying to tell me, which is to, you know, some call to action to find the, my best purpose, to serve my best purpose. And sometimes it's a funny thing when the universe sends you this card, they also send you this card, which is the magician. And the magician is a wonderful card of having faith in yourself that you can create the life that you want. It's not going to be easy, but you have all the tools because the universe has sent you all the tools that you need, everything that you need, swords, wands, uh, pentacles, uh, everything, cups. And it's up to you to create and to visualize and to make the alchemy to make the alchemy work, to pull the rabbit out of the hat. You have to do that. Nobody can do it for you. Nobody's going to hand you the life that you want. You pretty much have to live it and breathe it and make it happen. And this goes toward having faith in yourself and having the belief. Again, it's nothing is ever easy. And so when the devil is here, the devil wants to muck things up. The devil wants you not to reach your goals. The devil wants to say, ha ha, a magician, I'm going to hold you back. And it's up to you to, have, to be able to reflect. It's up to you to be able to go to wiser and experienced people to help. It's up to you to pick a choice and don't let yourself get stuck in daydreaming or fantasizing. And it's up to you to listen to the messages to, to make these well-informed decisions and to keep things going, keep things in motion. So this is a really nice, I think it's a nice month for you, Sagittarius in April. I think that overall, you know, you see that two of cups here and it's pretty powerful. You see the magician, pretty powerful. What we don't see is we don't see pentacles. We don't see the grounded common sense cards. We're talking about passions, we're talking about counsel, and we're talking about some big things that you have to think about and consider as you move forward. So let's see what the cards have to say about love. Individuality, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. I think it's a great message. Be an individual. Be yourself. Try not to be, you know, something that you're not. And when you are yourself, your light shines. People see you for who you are. It's, uh, you know, you're going to attract the e equality is when you present yourself in a real way, then, oh, there's the mailman. <laughs> that was just the mailman, um, the mail person. When you do that, you have the chance here to, to have a successful and equal relationships, relationships that are often long-term and, and viewed as successful, that they, they look at each other as equals. They treat each other as equals. So be yourself and allow yourself to find the right person. And if you're in a relationship, uh, you know, just be yourself and your person, your, your mate will love you for who you are. 
And then finally, let's choose an oracle card for further guidance. Easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. I think this goes toward the idea of that the universe has this divine timing. And when you do the self-work, when you are able to reflect on your experience and how you've lived, when you're able to reflect on what may be holding you back, when you are able to plan and to chart your path in terms of the magician, then, you know, the timing comes into play. And it will help you, no doubt, it will help you. So Sagittarius, I hope that, uh, I hope you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. We have a wonderful community, and I'm always around to answer questions and to interact. And uh, lastly, I hope that you have a fantastic April and that all your dreams come true. So I hope to see you again. Thank you for taking the time for watching. Bye-bye.